in the trunk, you want to remove the cover that's covering the spare tire. It will disconnect the battery. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Loosen up the negative terminal. Take that off and slide it aside. When removing the starter, you normally wouldn't have all this room. It would be a little bit tighter in here. There's a bar that goes across here. We have the cradle down anyway, so you can see a little bit more. But you would start by taking out the air pump, which we're going to do right now. Disconnect the connector right here. If you need a little pick or a screwdriver, just get underneath these little tabs. Slide that off out of the way. There's a couple of hoses up top here. I'm going to just push down on those. Pull that one off and there should be another one right next to it. If you can't access that one now, you can uh, pull it down a little bit and then try to pull it off once it's down. And that one's a little tight, so. All right, I'm gonna take these bolts out for the bracket. Use a 13 millimeter socket. And then these two bolts as well. Push that connector right there. Try to pop that hose off. There we go. I'll use an eight millimeter socket and take this nut off. Slide that wire off. Use a 13 millimeter socket. And slide that wire off. And this just happens to have another wire underneath. Slide those off, out of the way. Now we're gonna take the two starter bolts out. There's one down here and one above. Use a 15 millimeter socket, take those out. I'll just use an extension and take the other one off. And take the starter and slide it up. Now slide the starter in place. Get the starter bolt started. And the top one that you can't really see too well. Make sure the wires are out of the way. And you can torque those starter bolts to 30 foot pounds. Do the same with the top one. Now we're gonna hook the wires up, the bigger wires go to this stud just like that you want to clean up those terminals a little bit it's 
good. Put the washers on and get the nuts on. I'll put the smaller wire over this stud, the washers, and the nut. And we can torque that to 13 inch pounds. That's it. Now I take the air pump and you want to slide the hoses into position and connect the hoses. That one there, that one there, and just lock them down. Get the bolt started. And snug them down. Line the connector up, lock it in place. And take the negative battery terminal, line that up. And tighten it down. And you can put the trunk cover back in, you'd be all set.